Welcome back everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to plant your greens in these buckets, okay? I had these buckets for a while. My mother-in-law gave it to me. Actually, I had some kitchen stuff on it like this. And I got tired of it. So I was like, you know what? Now it's winter time. Let's replant some greens. And, you know, these buckets, I can live right by the window. So, I'm going to show you guys today how to use it, reuse it, okay? So, let's begin. You'll need some greens. It could be whatever you have. And some eggshell. Some vegetable soil. These are coconut fiber, okay? And some charcoal. And this is some water resistant string, okay? These are garden tools, okay, from garden. So they, it's not waterproof, okay? The water will transpass it, not much, but it will. So that's why we're gonna use the charcoal. So I'll show you how to put all of this together. Let's begin. So first, we will use the charcoal, okay? You'll place the charcoal right on the bottom like this. Why? Okay. We're gonna put charcoal because this is not waterproof, it's water resistant. So, uh, the water will transpass it. So the charcoal will prevent ta, the stench of the stagnant water. So will not smell. If any water will stay under here, will not smell. Okay? So something like that. That's good. You cover the bottom. All right. After that is done, we'll place the screen here, like that. See? Already cut it. Look. Very simple. Like that. Perfect. Now, we will use some soil, okay? As you can see, guys, we had some snow last night and this morning. So let's begin with the soil. halfway to your container halfway and then we will add our eggshell okay on the eggs as you guys can as you guys know the eggs has calcium right so what does the calcium do the calcium reduce the acid from the soil so it balances the soil, okay? It balances the pH. So the leaves, it, the leaves like this, it stays greenish. Got it? <laughs> so, yeah, so calcium is very good. When you have like, you want to have very green leaves, the calcium will really help. It balances the pH of the soil, okay? So, like this, now more soil. Ok, 
Okay. These, I had them in the water because I already cut it once and it grew one more time. See? The color is not as green as green. Look, it's turning yellow because it's getting weak. Like I say, there's no calcium. So what we'll do, we'll cut it like that, okay? Take it from the water. We'll trim the roots, it's too long. Like that, okay? So let's plant it. These are already cut it. So you can re remove some of the old. leaves right okay so now the fun part this is gonna look beautiful in your kitchen and you will have fresh green onions on the go You can water them every other day. As you know, there's no drainage, so you don't have to water that much, right? Okay, now the oregano. Just Press the plastic container and squeeze, pushing out like that. So break it apart. We're going to cut the roots so it will slow it, it growth. Like that, take that out. Look how beautiful it looks. You'll make your kitchen smells good. Just like that, and of course, you can clean it up a little, sprinkle some water, okay. and on top, look, you can put some coconut fiber, so it'll give that charming look. Or you can either put some rocks. There's the rocks in here. You can play around however you like. Look at that. So cute. And then, of course, we'll clean it up, clean it around and will look beautiful in your kitchen. And you can just water it every other day, okay? Like that. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Pass this video so your friends can learn it and your friends can do it too, okay? Happy gardening!